and welcome to my Spookathon wrap up. Okay, I had so much fun doing Spookathon. Oh my goodness. Um, I did not daily vlog. I attempted to daily vlog. I got about one day's vlog in, so I'll show you some footage from my first day of daily vlogging. And then um, it was parent teacher conferences and life, and I just decided I'm just gonna do a sit down wrap up because I can't vlog every day. Sorry. There are some clips from my first day of the readathon. All right, hey folks. So it is 102. So I have like 13 minutes um, to myself, and I'm gonna just read for 13 minutes, probably 10 minutes. I need three minutes to like try to do something else productive. But yeah, I'm gonna read for 10 minutes. Here I go now. Okay, so I got to page 85. Um, I just feel like something with Ben is gonna happen. Like, I know he's supposed to be dead, and that's not a spoiler because you find that out. Like, that the brother, said brother died. But I think he's like, I don't know. That's my prediction that he's not really dead. Oh, you wanna see why my little teacher heart is so excited? Look at this. It's an easel. I've been waiting for this puppy for like, a month, so. Happy Spookathon! So I started the readathon with The Telling by Alexander Sarowi. This was the read along book for the Spookathon. This book was so much fun to read. I think, too, like reading it with Shannon and Kayla. Like, and we all read it at the same time. It really made the experience even better. Um, we, it was, it was just a really fun time. Like, we all finished it within, like, the same hour or so. And it was just awesome. This story followed our main character, Lana. And her stepbrother was murdered, they think. But they hadn't found the body. She starts hanging out with a new group of friends and then more murders start happening. And so she's trying to figure out what is going on. Now without spoiling this book, I will say that I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. I took out a star because there were some times where I had to suspend belief and it just, I had a hard time doing so. Especially during the detective investigation scenes. Um, like. For instance, there is no way ever in the world where a minor would be able to be investigated and like interviewed without a parent there and they were like drilling into her and that could never ever happen, ever. So like things like that like really bug me when it comes to books. However, I really, really did like where this book went in the end. I was not expecting it. I was so glad that it didn't have one of my, like, most hated tropes in YA thrillers, which if I said that, then I'd be spoiling the book. Like, I don't want to say what my most hated trope is. Um, maybe in further videos, I can do a video about, like, all the tropes in YA that I hate, but it didn't have the one that I just can't stand in here. You know, for that, I loved, and this book kept me guessing. I wasn't quite sure where it was going to go, like how it was going to end up, and I was quite pleased with where it turned out. So, if you were kind of on the fence as to whether or not you wanted to pick up The Telling by Alexander Sharoe, I would say definitely pick it up, definitely read it. It is worth the read, it will take you on quite the ride, and it's just fun. So I read The Telling in two days. So on the third day of the readathon, I began reading Disappearance at Devil's Rock by Paul Tremblay. This was probably my most anticipated read of the entire Spookathon. And I loved Paul Tremblay's first book, A Head Full of Ghosts. And so this was just like, I have been waiting to read this book for a while. This story is about a mom whose son has gone missing. And while they're trying to investigate to figure out where this son has gone, she learned some really disturbing things about her son's 
activities that she he's doing with his friends and some weird people show up in um, journal entries that are mysteriously popping up all over her house she, she starts to see like apparitions of Tommy like in her bedroom late at night and this book and so the whole feel of this book is just very spooky and eerie and it was just took me for I just enjoyed every second of it I did end up rating this book a four out of five I took up a star for this for the sheer fact that like I was really confused at the end like I still don't know that I really understand what happened at the end and I think that is Paul's point like I, I this book was beautifully written it was masterful it was wonderful it was so smart um, but I don't know maybe it's just me uh, I I'm confused and I would love to just like discuss this book with anybody who has read it um, I just have so many questions and things I want to bounce off of each other. I heard Shannon say that she's gonna do a discussion video. I might have to talk to her about like collaborating and doing a discussion video together somehow so that we can all discuss this book because I have so many feels and so many thoughts about this book. But for now, my rating stands at a four out of five. I highly recommend this book. I highly, highly recommend Paul Tremblay's other book, A Head Full of Ghosts. Oh my goodness, wonderful, wonderful. I love this author. Definitely, definitely one of my favorite authors. Like, yes, I love Paul Tremblay and I will buy anything that he writes in the future. So I read Disappearance at Devil's Rock in two days. I think I, so I read it on, so day, so day three of the readathon, I didn't get any reading done. I might have read 10 pages. And then day four in five, in day four and five, I, and six, in day four, five, and six, I was reading Disappearance of Devil's Rock. You know, I didn't get a lot of reading done on day, whatever day Friday was, day five, because I um, went out, me and my husband, we had a day date, and we went to a bookstore, and we ate sushi, and it was just so much fun. Day but five of the readathon. We're going to a bookstore. I really haven't read that many pages. Yep. Um, I'm reading Disappearance at Devil's Rock, and I didn't get that far last night. I'm at on page like 40, so but we're gonna go look at books, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of went along with the readathon theme, you know, like uh, we went to a bookstore and looked at books, and it was a readathon, and it was just so much fun. That's kind of what we did on. Friday and I did get a little bit of reading done, but I didn't finish the book until Saturday night um, Late at night <laughs> I had one day to read a monster calls by Patrick Ness and I was actually really busy on Sunday I had so many lesson plans to do and things to get ready for the week uh, As I was working I was like well, let me see if I can find an audiobook I went online and I found the audiobook to a monster calls and I listened to that for about an hour and a half as I worked on my lesson plans and then after I was finished working I just started reading the book just reading it and it went a lot faster and guys this was probably like the book I was least excited about reading and this was my favorite book of the readathon my highest rated book five out of five stars I can't even I can't even begin to tell you the feelings that this book gave me I was crying I, my heart was just uh, torn out it was so impactful as a bomb so many feels all the feels I understand completely what Kayla meant when she said you have to read this book page as a, as a mom it will impact you yeah well I'm impacted I've already cried. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try not to cry anymore. This book is heart wrenching. I recommend this to everyone, but I really recommend this to anyone who has a child. It will just give you all the feels, guys. 
like, ugh. I highly, highly recommend A Monster Calls. And then after I read the book, I actually went online and looked at the trailer and oh my gosh, the trailer looks amazing for this movie. I am so excited for this movie to come out. And guess what? Jimmy saw me reading this book and like he saw me like bawling and he's like, oh, maybe I need to, maybe I need to read this book. Maybe it's really good. So Jimmy's actually gonna read this and I'm really excited about that. Ugh, guys, this book was everything in my life. Like, this is going to the top of the list of the books that I, it's definitely in the top five books that I have read this year. Like, guys, this book hit me hard. And I'm still thinking, I spent my whole day today thinking about this book, so. So there you have it, guys. That is my Spookathon wrap up. Thank you to everyone who participated on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube. This was so much fun. I can't even begin. Like, I wish we could do it all over again. Like, I had so much fun reading these books. And I can't wait till next year to do it again. So, yes, Spookathon is becoming an annual thing. Look out for it next year. I know it's a long ways away, but get excited for next year. All right, guys, until my next video, happy reading. Happy reading. Bye-bye, Anne. Now.